So here we have two GU10 style lamps uh, from a shop called Poundland. Um, they're budget lamps and one is rated at 3 watt and the other one is rated at 5 watt. Now which one is better? Now you might think that uh, 5 watt rating is better, it's a brighter bulb. Um, and you're right, it is brighter. But uh, I think we'll take these apart and you'll be surprised in the results because I think the 3 watt is going to be better than its 5 watt counterpart. And I think 5 watt is bad news. So let's take a look what's inside these lamps. If we take a very small flat bladed screwdriver, we can gently pry out this uh, plastic diffuser lens and see what's inside. Right, now let's take a look to see what's in the other one so we can see the difference. Well, that's quite interesting. On the surface of it, they look very similar. Let's take a closer look. Wow. Well, I don't know about you guys, but to me, the 5 watt and the 3 watt look near enough identical on the inside. We'll take a look at the components in detail, but I can't see any difference. I bet you they're pretty much exactly the same. And we'll find out why one is 5 watt and why one is 3 watt. So if we look closely, next to the driver chip, we'll see two resistors in parallel. And they're actually different values on the 5 watt than to the 3 watt one. R2 and 3 are in parallel and give you a combined resistance of 39 ohm. Whereas R2 and 3 on the 3 watt give you a combined resistance of 69 ohm. Now these resistors set the amount of current that is supplied to the little yellow LEDs. And um, on the 3 watt one, it's exactly the same, except they get a lot less current than the 5 watt ones. Which means effectively the 5 watt ones, they get driven much harder. And because of the extra current, they'll get really hot and they won't last nearly as long. So in my opinion, the 3 watt one is the much better bet and should effectively last much longer. Uh, which is surprising really. I mean, um, they cheaped out a bit um, by not adding more LEDs in the 5 watt one and just driving them harder. It's a bit naughty if you ask me. So in my opinion, you're much better off buying the 3 watt um, GU10 lamp from Poundland uh, because they'll simply last a lot longer. And uh, the 5 watt is just going to fry itself in a very short time. Um, but um, luckily, uh, over on Big Clive's channel, he took uh, another type of bulb from Poundland apart. It's not a GU10, but it's a normal standard style um, LED light bulb. And he came up with a really ingenious way to hack them. Since there's two of these little uh, current setting resistors in parallel, uh, you can simply clip one of them off and the resistance value will then rise and it would set a different control current to the LEDs and you can make them last a lot longer that way. It's uh, kind of turning them into a Dubai lamp of sorts. Now I really take my hat off to Big Clive because it's such a simple little hack. And of course, I can't take no credit for it, but uh, I'll um, I'll do this hack on the 5 watt one and see if we can uh, make it into a Dubai style lamp that lasts a lot longer. So this is the um, 5 watt lamp. And if we clip one of these two resistors, preferably the lower value one, uh, then the current to those little LEDs will be drastically reduced and will extend their life. So I think if we go for the lower value, where that's the 75 ohm, and we clip that straight off the board, just break it off with a pair of cutters. And um, then we're left with the, uh, with the 82 ohm resistor, and then this chip should then reduce the current to the LEDs. So let's give that a try. 
Let's test it first to see if it works so we can compare the brightness. I know it will swamp out the camera completely. So now let's clip the 75 ohm resistor clean off the board. No need to unsolder it, you can just break it straight off, big Clive style. And that's it. We've now extended the life of this bulb. And let's try to see if it still works. There we go, still works. Now to me it looks almost exactly the same, but it is effectively almost halved its current. So if it was 5 watt, it's now about 2 watts. So I would say that's a really good result. Really simple little hack that uh, Big Clive came up with. You can't really be just snapping a resistor off a board. And uh, make a cheap one pound light bulb last much, much longer. Let's uh, pop the diffuser back on. there it's not too bad so if you can't get hold of the 3 watt ones which I recommend you buy uh, you can always get the 5 watt ones and just clip that resistor off um, you can do the same with the 3 watt one and make it an even lower power bulb to extend its life as well and that should last even longer um, so uh, let's uh, light it up with the diffuser on to see what it looks like yeah that looks pretty good Now, of course, not every GU10 lamp is going to be constructed in this particular way. This lamp here is from uh, a shop that's a competitor to Poundland. It's called uh, One Below. It's a similar shop to Poundland. However, this GU10 lamp is completely different construction. The driver circuit is completely different. So you won't be able to use the resistor clipping hack on this lamp. The driver circuit it uses is what's called a capacitive dropper. So if you wanted to reduce the current to the LEDs in this type of um, LED lamp, uh, you would have to change the value of the dropper capacitor. And I've actually done this in a previous video of mine where um, one of my old style GU10 lamps failed. And when I repaired it, I changed the value of this capacitor to make it last longer as well. Now just for a bit of fun, I took apart a IKEA bulb, uh, which is also one pound, good value from IKEA really, a, a budget bulb from IKEA. And um, it's completely different. Um, it doesn't have a capacitive dropper or one of those current regulating chips inside. Um, it has a, a buck regulator, a switching regulator, to uh, drop the voltage and the current to the LEDs. Um, but it does turn out to have the same system with the two resistors. So you can actually just clip one of the resistors to reduce the current to the LEDs and also reduce the brightness. Uh, what I actually did was I removed both resistors and put my own value in there so it, as to make a very really soft glow lamp. But um, that is an interesting uh, little hack as well, which really deserves its own video. But, uh, so it turns out um, more than one style of manufacturer uses that two resistor um, uh, current limiting design. And they fine tune the value with the two resistors. So it's quite handy that you just hack one off and, um, and then you can make the lamp last a lot longer. So that's it for this video. So don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channels to see more of these videos if you like them. Feel free to leave some comments, that way we can all share our knowledge 
and we can start a bit of a community where we all um, get to share information and help each other out. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys back here soon.